My childhood neighborhood had one road in and the same road out. It was bordered by two highways. That infrastructure sent a signal to me about my life. The highway to nowhere displaced 10,000 or more families and it disrupted a community. The connectivity of the smaller community was more intact before the red line came through. We live here, we love this place, we work to, to honor this place. We didn't create the conditions that exist in West Baltimore. The citizens didn't create that. I see transportation as three things. One, it does get us places. Transportation also improves places. So that's an important function. And then the other thing I think transportation does is it knits us together. It's one of the things we as a society do together and we can't do it by ourselves. This is a community function. And if it doesn't work for the entire community, the transportation system doesn't work. That's the story of America's infrastructure that we don't tell as much. Transportation historically has created barriers in the last 60 years. What's remarkable today is that transportation policy is saying, let's create things that bring people together. It's very important that the community have a say, and I think it's very important that we tell the right story. Transportation infrastructure can definitely be beneficial to a community. Make sure that your process to engage a community has a level of integrity to it. The challenge of the 21st century is how you take what we have and make it an inclusive incarnation of the future. And uh, that's what we're trying to do here at DOT.